welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. Now the core building block of any math application is something called a feature, of which an application can have many. And a feature is simply a collection of pages and business logic which allow our mobile users to complete a discrete unit of work. So in this episode we'll see how we can build a feature and how you can arrange features within your springboard and your navigation bar. So what is a feature? Well quite simply it's an entry point into application content. Now because of the nature of working on a mobile device application functionality tends to be broken into discrete standalone and quickly completed units of work. Now, each of these units of work can be represented as a feature within an application and each feature would typically comprise of one or a number of pages used to complete a particular task. And a feature is in fact a very modular concept and because of its modular nature each feature is developed as a standalone unit but it can be very easily reused across lots of different applications. And each feature can be independently secured so that, for example, within your application, anyone can access the corporate form book feature, but you can define that a user must log on and be authenticated in order to access the payroll feature, for example. So where do you tend to see these features in your mobile application? Well, features can appear on something called a springboard which is a bit like an opening screen or maybe like a home page. Now in this screenshot you can see a springboard showing six different features. People might be a directory lookup, the dashboard might be for viewing some business analytics and the expenses feature could be for logging your business expenses. So your application work units or functionality are very nicely packaged up into discrete modular units of work displayed on a panel, a bit like the icons on your Windows desktop. So what does a feature typically comprise of? Well in math there are broadly three types of content that make up a feature. The first and most commonly if you're developing a math application is called an AMX page or application mobile XML. Now an MX page is a page developed using the very rich UI components that Oracle Math provides out of the box. So very powerful and rich yet simple to use components such as lists, input fields, date pickers, buttons and graphs. A feature could be a single page comprising of these components or it could be a number of pages linked together into a flow called a task flow which allows the user to perform a task. A feature could also point to remote URLs. So a feature could point to URLs such as a corporate help page or a web application which could also provide feature functionality. The final option is if you want to roll up your sleeves and directly write some HTML or JavaScript to achieve some application function then you can write a local HTML file and use that as a feature as well. You'll learn more about these later, but those are just some of the basic building blocks of a feature. So how might you start developing a feature? Well, each view controller project has a file called math-feature.xml, and it's in this file that you start defining the features and their content. So the six features you see on the screenshot here are defined in the math-feature.xml file, which you can see in the view controller project. So for these six features you can see on the springboard, open up the feature editor dialog by double clicking on the mathfeature.xml file. There you can see each of the features that we have defined for this application, people, dashboard, documents, etc. And I can add or remove a feature using the green plus or the red X icon. And for every feature, I can define if this feature should comprise of AMX pages, a local HTML page, or a remote URL. And if you look a little further down the dialog, you'll also see you can define the icons that will represent the feature on the navigation bar or springboard. 
So let's have a quick look at creating a feature in a demo. So here we are inside JDeveloper and we'll open up our mathfeature.xml file. And here we can start defining the features that make up our application. So let's define a feature called uh, people and a second feature which will be for showing uh, dashboard analytic information. And then the third feature will be called documents. So our application has three features. I now would want to define the content for those features. So by default, we're saying that the people uh, feature is an AMX page and I can create the actual page now. And let's get a better name. We'll call it uh, people page one. And here I can build up the page, but this is something we'll see in a, a later episode. Let's go back to our dashboard feature. This will also be an AMX page, but in fact, rather than a single page, we'll make it a task flow. And rather than choosing uh, or creating a new task flow, I can also look at any task flows I've created earlier and we'll use the dashboard task flow that was created earlier for me. And the third feature is called documents. Now, rather than an AMX page, we could make this point to a remote URL. So let's create a new connection. And just for the sake of simplicity, we'll call it home and just point to Okay, so that's us defined our application with three features. People, which points to a single AMX page. We have dashboards, which actually points to a task flow, which is a flow of a number of pages. And we have documents, which is a feature that's pointed to a URL. There are two ways that you typically present application features to a user. You can use a springboard or a navigation bar. A springboard can be thought of as your launch pad or home page where you want the user to start. And generally speaking, and since there is more room, the springboard would contain the full set of features your application might support. And of course, you can define icons to distinguish each of the features. And you can also decide on the various display options for the springboard. Is it displayed at startup or can you toggle the springboard so it slides into an area of your application? Now in this springboard screenshot, you can see a feature called alerts and a feature called contacts. Now in contrast, the navigation bar is much smaller and appears at the bottom of the viewport. And because it's smaller, you tend to have a subset of features and the idea is that it's more easily allows the user to switch between features whilst in the middle of a task. You can have different navbar icons from those that are used on the springboard and you probably have smaller icons given the limited screen space that you have. And like the springboard you can define various display options including whether the navbar is displayed on launch uh, and whether you can toggle it on or off. In this screenshot, you can see a nav bar with a number of features. Here's one called Opportunities. And the navigation bar includes the ability to indicate if there are more features which can't be displayed in the current space available. And a feature can appear on both the springboard and the navigation bar, or in fact, it can appear on one but not the other. That is totally up to you as the application designer. Now let's look in a little more detail at where you define if your feature, feature appears on the springboard, the nav bar, or both. Now since the control of where the features appear is something you do for your application, then this is defined in the application configuration file, which is mathapplication.xml. Now here I have an application with three different features, and I can define where and whether the feature appears. 
So in this case, I have a feature called directory. And in this example, I have defined that this feature will appear on the navigation bar, but it will not appear on the springboard. Controlling if and how your springboard and nav bar appears is also an application configuration decision, so you define this in the math application.xml file. For the nav bar, I may choose that it doesn't appear on the application launch, but the user is able to toggle the navigation bar on or off using the platform specific toggle feature. And for the springboard, I could choose not to have a springboard, I could choose the default springboard, or if I want to customize look and feel, I could even create my own custom springboard. And I can also choose if the springboard is displayed on application launch and whether it can also be displayed using the platform toggle button. And when you display the springboard, you can define how it animates in and out of view. So in this episode, you've seen what a feature is, what it's used for, and how you might display it on a springboard or a navigation bar. So thank you very much for watching and look out for the next episode on this channel.